Cowabunga doors. Closable. Durable. We just saw an ad for our sponsor, Cowabunga Closet Doors. Excellent. And we just thought the most appropriate person to be on here would be professional closet writer, Justin Pickrell. Welcome. We actually went to his compound to film those videos. Yeah. That was, man, that was back in uh, 03, back to circuit 03. Man, <laughs> the, the closet board serving circuit was not even for us. And it I don't next think, level. I don't think my mom was either. I think I'm still getting paid by that sponsorship. It was a good sponsorship. <laughs> My mom is still paying into that sponsorship. <laughs> Dude, she paid she paid too much Justin considering what she went through. Had a uh, a custom grip tape for the closet doors. It was pretty sweet. Oh, and... dude, I was the videos the the handicap video, <laughs> dude. Uh that was so weird to watch, but then I just remembered every little thing, duct tape shoes, everything. Yeah, yeah, like every detail. I remember Justin's shoes flying off after every stunt. <laughs> yeah, the Dickies <laughs> pants. The dude, my pants were fucking horrible. Just baggy <laughs> below my ass. What were, those, what were they called? Like free, free, free world. world. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't oh, quite. They weren't quite the cruise, but we were like getting zoomies because they were two for twenty five. Oh, yeah. if Jinkos were still around, I'd be wearing them fucking boys. They're back, dog. You seen these fucking kids? I know, dude. What the fuck are kids Jay. wearing these days? They're wearing like the three Jinkos. Jay, the cool thing is you could buy the Jinko shorts, save half the oh, price. God. <laughs> well, I'm not trying to get laid every day. He <laughs> pull up on some blades and some fucking shorts. <laughs> blades and shorts. Dude, a guy rode past my fucking work He's a fucking today. soul skate. On one. Roller skate, not roller skate. Sorry. Uh, what's the ones with the four wheels? Is that roller the same thing? Yeah. They both have four wheels. Okay. Fucking rolled by on one pair of those, holding the other, and I'm like, <laughs> bro, put them both on. They work so much better as a team. But skate better. Wait, he I mean, was just going was like better. He was just one leg in it, like yeah. a, like a skateboard. Yeah, and I was like. I, so I was moving cars and I was looking at him in my side view mirror and I go, motherfucker, put that fucking thing on. I'm like staring at it. I'm like, okay, there must be something wrong with the skate, right? Yeah. Oh, he's holding it by these long ass fucking laces. I'm like, well, it's got to be missing a wheel. No, four fucking wheels. Dude, you Why don't know what his bearings hobbling? look like. He's just got a blown bearing. Evans, bro. He's got to make oh. those sharp turns. In line. Putting his foot down. <laughs> this is really cool not being the one who has to talk on the podcast. I is, bet. That, is that your job in general? Yeah, most of the time. It's like me and Penna back and forth constantly. And it's never, lately, it's just kind of moved into just like stupid news stories. So then it's like really bulleted. And so I always feel like I got to come with the fucking heat. But right here, it's just like, <laughs> nice. I'll just put a blanket on and listen. I know, dude. <laughs> What you drinking there, Justin? Uh, I found a new IPA yeah. that I'm digging. I don't like yeah. it, but the the percentage is great. Uh, I've had the juicy IPA from Voodoo Ranger, but Juice Force. Oh, okay. It's nine point five, so I wanted to get the job done. Damn, Jesus. I hate living in fucking Utah, dude. And I that, used to, you know, watch a I'm show not- called Jew Force. Jew Force? Yeah, you know, it was like Power Rangers, but they were all Jews. They're like, Jackie, oh, I'm the easiest ability I'm... to find the wildest shit. What? The craziest ability to find the wildest shit. Like Jew Force. And, and you explain the whole storyline. Like, how did you find that? It's not real. I just made oh. it up. But it sounds like something you'd be <laughs> I like. I was 50-50 <laughs> on it. Yeah, it's, it's like a, <laughs> a side-scroller anime. 
Yeah. <laughs> right. A side, side, side scroller, scroller anime. anime. I was picturing something like Mr. Pickles or something, just some fucking <laughs> raunchy ass, dirty anime that you're like, oh, nobody should watch this, but at the same time, it's pretty interesting. <laughs> but it is, it is true. Zach finds the most obscure shit. Yeah. That How we would never it? fucking see. And it's all 8 bit scrolling anime. <laughs> You oh, it's also eight bit eight scrolling. bit scrolling anime. <laughs> eight bit anime Dude, is hilarious. Just the whole Jake stuff. sends me these fucking TikToks of just the most disgusting animation. It looks like oh, like cool three D world. Yeah, probably. And, and that Mario one that I that I saw. Oh you my guys. god, that was. Oh gross. yeah, dude, it's always just <laughs> fucking gross friend. looking. You guys are <laughs> talking a secret friend group all the time. We just have a group text for the no, pod, we're just friends Justin. And he messages me, dude. I no one messages me, dude. I yeah, do. nobody messages me either, except for my friends. I called you. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that's a strike. That's yeah, so that's, that's the wrong. I time. love <laughs> that's the wrong time for that. <laughs> I love that. I've been trying to. I don't. I talk to Zach every day. Actually, it's kind of weird. The only place it we have a we have a, this Discord that I just. Oh, I'm like, oh, I'm so stressed. I got this work to do. And <laughs> we're just like, oh, no, no, no. And I'm like, you should do a podcast. So I have a secret group, like, you know, with my friends. We do. Ryan De La Rosa. <laughs> what what? And I. Why am I not in it? Top you were. It? You That's were. true. No. I was. And then it's just stayed going. And actually, all it is is just a discord for it's it's nearly a group therapy session. Yeah. We're all just like, oh, I man, I got so much on my that, plate. Yeah, that is the conversation in there. And then you're like, well, I should do this and I should do that. So maybe you should be back in it. Or we. Yeah, can I need to come vent. I just always feel hey, dude, you just, you horrible. Just popping it out. Like sometimes no one says anything either, but you feel good. Yeah, so, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes, yeah, it'll just be like crickets. Yeah, I, I, I fucking get. I feel so bad because I can't talk to anybody at my ha- my place. Nobody gives a shit about what I'm going through with my double promotion that I've been working for, apparently. And so I'm always like, oh, I can't talk to fucking anybody about this. And so now I just keep it under wraps, you know, don't try to tell anybody anything. And it fucking eats away at me every day. But it's weird. But you know what? Your uh, your actions are speaking louder than your word exactly want to get fucked grab a murphy's murphy's frequency pose now available at Walgreens. i wish that we could make another podcast so i could be in it you're in it right now i know i i mean we we could but the other one will be called the third like there's pretty much always an open invitation for justin at the findings yeah, and I, I was gonna say my my schedule's open. Oh, Friday, I... Saturday, Sundays, not so much because th- those are the days yeah. I work. <clears throat> I mean, I could do it evenings then, but any other day of the week, I'm open. Okay, okay. I actually, and you guys know how to run the Zoom thing. I I don't know how, but I was telling Zach, I was like, you could probably use Zoom to get it done, and then you put it out, and it looks fucking great. Yeah, it looks exactly like uh. Uh, the workaholics dudes have a podcast, and I swear they're doing it off of uh, it's called This Is Important, and it's yeah. great. You know? oh, okay, I swear they're doing it off of Zoom too because their cuts are exactly like yours, where whoever's talking pops up. So I'm Adam Devine, yeah, likely. Actually, Zach is actually, fucking Blake, and Jake is yep. I'm waiting for a comment. I'm waiting for a comment, dude. YouTube's so mean, Jake's Carl. <laughs> YouTube's so yeah, mean. I'll go with her, I'll be Carl. Jake's you, Carl, Justin stirs. I fucking rip into people though all the time. I always get this is what every person needs a podcast looks like, and I'm like, exactly. Where link me to yours, bro? Yeah, yeah. You don't nothing. You probably look the same as us. Yeah, yeah. It that's the hurt. thing with us. We're not trying to be fucking famous. We're not trying to make money. <laughs> kind of <laughs> trying to make money, but you will though. I lost my point, but the, I had two points before that you guys heard. He's got a point. He's got just, one. Just Not an two. excuse to be funny with your friends. <laughs> it's great. Yeah, dude, that, Justin, this is what I said to the boys. You weren't there. Should have been there. I'm sorry you weren't there. Should have called them. Should have called them, dog. Should have called them. 
You should have called him. It's Brady. Um, at the very him. least, have... I have recordings of me and my buds talking forever. Yep. yep. And so do your kids. Yeah. Yep. That's that, what I, I mean, that's, that's worth for. it right there. I've been that showing is. it to my I did kids. It. You want to know what I did? It? I did it for that exact reason, but there's a third reason I did it. And it was because I wanted to be myself like I was when I was younger without a fucking care in the world. I don't care what my Love customers it. think. I don't care what, like, I don't give a fuck. In fact, it's helped me. Like, that's part of a thing in sales and shit is being personable. Being funny is personable as fuck. So personal, personable, personable, per- personable. Yeah. But you get what Dude, I'm that's I think a- it's both. Not only uh, that, yeah, probably. Sure. Not only that, you get to watch yourselves talk to your friends forever. And it's just like I was telling Zach earlier, like you just change the way you talk in a, just the smallest ways all the time. And the thing is, our, our brand of funny and like we have so much inside shit that no one understands. Yeah. To be able to like explain, put that out and like enjoy it. Yeah. It's so rare. I mean, it's, it's why you love talking to your friends, but then, you so know. what I what I was saying earlier, like you're gonna do this and not want to get money or not want to get like bigger, but you're gonna say an inside joke and it's gonna get ten thousand views, and then yeah. you're gonna realize why it did, and then you're gonna set up the way you talk more that way, and then after a while, it just happens. That's See, dude, we have clips. We have clips. We have we have videos of some of the inside jokes. I that know. We can just that's what I love. Yeah. yeah, that's a we nice advantage. Should have called him. And then there's a clip of whoever the fuck that editing for warlock that. was that said that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know who the fuck that guy was. He had a nice BMW. We just that. have footage of him forever. Zach, I honor your ability to just like deep dive and like you have to find this footage. <laughs> Like that, dude, for me, it's like, I'm the only one that edits my podcast. So after a while, I'm like, fuck, bro. And then Zach comes out with these heaters where it's like putting sound effects in and then also putting clips from the thing that y'all were talking about and then explaining that he needed to like cut between who was talking. Uh, I was thinking through the podcast, I was like, bro, you hit fucking splice like 600 times. Dude, Z is a excellent podcast host. And owner, do you remember when that chick's mom beat you oh, well, oh. beat you up in the parking lot at school? Now, yeah, I do now, and I and it's actually really bad. I feel like my chair is stinking down here. Sorry. So, when we were young, we liked shock value, and we loved to fucking, you know get a rise out of anybody that we could so one of my favorite things to do at the end of high school is to like pop people's back doors of their car while they're in line <laughs> like that's annoying like that's a genius little technique it but, is and you were good at that shit yeah be punk 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 people be like what the <laughs> fuck you want to get out fucking yeah. get out and close my door you do <laughs> yeah that's just yep. so annoying <laughs> You ever forget something on your way to work after you backed up like 10 feet and you're like, motherfucker, and you just slam it. Yeah. That's why I really need it. Same thing. That's what that did. So I did the wrong car at the right time because I popped the door of a mother whose child was abducted and then found. So I popped that shit and I triggered trauma. Oh, I forgot about this shit. That's fucking crazy. I don't think I knew about the first time I called an old lady a cunt. (laughs) Hey, the first trophy. Get him a trophy. (laughs) So I popped this lock. And I don't know if I lied to myself or lied to my parents, but I truly believe that I thought it was Rachel's car. Uh, Rachel back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. We won't say the last name. Yeah, you yeah, that's crazy. I don't even so remember it. <laughs> Edit that, bleep that. Anyway, so uh I popped this Avalon. It was a fucking mint green Toyota Avalon, which had a lot of you know, Avalons have a have a spot in my heart, you know, from back in the day. Love but Avalons. I pop it, and this bitch fucking slams her car in park, pops out the car. And starts screaming shit. And I'm like, it's so fast that I don't know what's going on. (laughs) 
<laughs> yeah. Mind you, I am in ninth grade or 10th grade, maybe. I'm pretty yeah. positive it's ninth grade. She has me by the shirt and she is like flat punch, punching me in the face and the chest. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm all like, oh, you fucking cunt. What are you doing? Anyway. <laughs> And then I had to ride a bus home. Or no, Zach, you were in your Rodeo. I think you took me home. No, I think we went with Ryan. Ryan, yeah, in his mm. fucking bravada or whatever. Because I remember being at Ryan's house afterwards and just being all shook up about it. Like, oh, we I'm need to get her shook up. in trouble. I don't know what to do. Um, so you're going to be like, yeah, bitch, I know your kid's been stolen, but he was just popping the back door. I told my <laughs> mom and dad, and they were so mad. At you? No. Oh, uh, that, that's good parents right there. So up until we go back to the school a while after, we don't know that her daughter was the one that you heard about for two years or however long she was missing, got yeah. stuck off of a trampoline, Dude. and then got found again. Oh, and the it was fuck, all... I remember that. The trampoline yeah, fucking bad luck there. So on Lincoln Road? Yeah, that was her daughter. I don't remember where I took her from. I just <laughs> Jay's like fucking eleven <laughs> years old. <laughs> you know, I, I was a collector. Listen, get on my get on my bike. You hear me? <laughs> slap a booty a little bit. Get on your bitch. Listen, what ended up happening with bitch. that? Nothing. A bunch of awkward. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then it ended. Yeah. And then I forgot about it because I have this really cool thing as I got older to black out anything hey, from yesterday. Even. You and me too, brother. Dude, that's why I love Zach. Hang, yeah, out with, hang out with Zach. He'll be like, you remember this? I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah, dude. That was a huge thing that I've completely forgotten about. And it's just like endless. What well, is great, it? Try to forget everything. all of those. What are those people oh, called on like Game of Thrones that like um, autistic? No, a uh, neurodivergent. Um, no, you guys. No the guys who on Game of Thrones. Yeah, the guy, the bald I, guy. If you let me finish yeah. what I'm fucking saying. Oh, Munich. the guys with no genitals. The Incest. Munich. Yes, I'm like the guys with no genitals. That's what I was gonna say. Thanks. <laughs> but I knew it. I gave you dragon. I don't know what your fucking problem is. That's pretty. <laughs> Show that me dragon. Good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> you kind of look like Khaleesi. That's what I'm going for, dude. <laughs> but no, I'm I I try to be like those guys, like the the maesters or whoever that fucking keep track of all the books and all the history. Yeah, the bald guy, the, the fat kid goes to learn from. Yeah, of all the houses and you know all the history. I've never seen, dude. So we were not wrong. That guy, bald guy, also no genitals. You know. Right? Yeah, that was why I cut my dick off. Boom. Nailed Dude, it. You learn so much faster without a penis. It's weird. Yeah. You just have no drive for anything other. Dude, than I've enjoyed it a knowledge. lot. Penisless life. Penisless life. <laughs> so anyway. I have that as a batter on my windshield on my car. This life and destroy. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, Z. We really fucked you on that one. Yeah. I oh, can't. yeah. I quit. Justin can take my place. Is oh my, my god! Is it Meisters or Magisters? I don't Magistrate? know, man. I think it's called Key Gong. Still, Still Magnolias. Do you remember Key Gong? The, you, the Key nut Gong. carrying thing. Yeah, where you you like put the thing around your package and see how much weight you can hold up. Are we talking about a ring dick? Oh, ring dick, yes. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> much. Yeah, ring dick. Dude, before ring doorbell, there was ring dick. And it was <laughs> popular. <laughs> what the fuck? You just go up to, like, <laughs> people's doors. and. <laughs> do you ever, like, stop? Like, do you ever think about <laughs> us back in the day? Remember something like this and just stop thinking about it because you not you shouldn't? I don't know, no, dude. I embrace Dustin, it all. <laughs> I, I will tell you that I have, have so to. many thoughts that I'm so embarrassed of from my past that when I think about them, I will audibly make a sound that nobody knows what I'm thinking about, but I'll be like, <laughs> oh, no. Like, uh. <laughs> like uh. I'm so embarrassed of so much shit. <laughs> dude, the only... Honestly, we're here today because of it. 
I yeah. know. That's why that's why I love it. Are we gonna talk about the, the meeting story or do we we want to save that? Oh yeah. All right. Dark and stormy night. So I was fucking Justin's sister for yeah. like weeks. <laughs> Jeremiah. His name's Trevor. Was... <laughs> Trevor. Well, she she technically was a boy at the time, but she's trans. No, uh what was it? So we were all in middle school, right? Rocky Mountain Elementary, shout out. Yay, not me. No. Oh yeah, no, at Rocky Mountain Middle School. You said elementary, it threw me off. Yeah, that's uh, that's well been. Should have been. But we all rode the bus. We didn't know called Zach him. and I rode the bus. <laughs> called him. Justin also rode the bus. Zach and I were were buds. Justin was an outsider. Piece of shit, kinda. He seemed but, like a piece of shit. It was I hard was to tell. Well, I still am. I think you guys <laughs> nailed it on the head then. And uh I remember one day I'm just looking looking around the bus. And I think I was probably staring. Might have been staring. <laughs> I might have been staring. I was like this. And I was like this. And we just looked for a bit. This. And I remember Justin. I said, looked. I said, do you have a staring problem? Pro- very zesty, Lee, though. Like, do you have a staring <laughs> problem? Like yeah, that's that how, that's heavy 105 it. pound frame of yours. Oh, dog, like that. <laughs> Honestly, dog, I remember wrestling in sixth grade at 75 pounds. So let's talk about that. I could wrestling imagine. depression. <laughs> dude, I didn't know you wrestled. We'll have to get back to that. But right. Justin, yeah, dude, I didn't know this. Justin hit me with, Do you have a staring problem? And I don't think I said anything because I wouldn't have. Yeah. I was being, but I, we were just cool over there. Diablo. <laughs> we were just over there fucking fuming. On the bus Dude, after that, I think I I think I went home. That was it, right? That that was like what started the whole thing. Yeah, like we were fucking. Hey, I don't even remember. I don't remember even saying that because there was like a week that went by. Yeah. Okay. It was, was about a week. Us that went fuming by. on it for a fucking week. And how I remember was getting off of the bus. Okay, and all of a sudden, all of the high school started pulling up in every CRX that you've ever <laughs> like literally literally a hundred a hundred high schoolers probably some middle schoolers mixed in why that's just the power of Corey's crazy dog <laughs> yeah so basically I went Not home even in high school yet by the way let's talk about that yeah. Wait, no, I mean it, like you said it's the power of Corey's crazy I went home I told Corey that some kid on the bus said something to me which should have been nothing yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad it wasn't nothing because we wouldn't be friends. But glad that I'm like, he was like thinking someone twice Jake's size. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Little and did you so, know I am as tall as Jason at this point. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I think I went home and told Corey. I forget the details with how it went about. I definitely told Corey some kid was fucking with me on the bus, and. This kid on the bus had like a protector, his next door neighbor, Cody. Yes. Yeah. This Cody kid's in high school. And so Corey's like, all right. And I think it was like a week later, like you said, on a Friday. Uh like end of the school year, close to. I remember. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And like we all get off the bus, and I remember we just hang out. Oh, that was or, so or like we walked over to your house and then like you said, fucking 40 CR CRVs, CRXs. CRXs and Civics. And CRXs Taurus. and Civics. And Taurus. Whatever, Taurus. whatever piece of shit car was around back then pulled up. It's probably worth so much money now. Right. A bunch of bunch of dudes unloaded, and it was we just surrounded your house. Yeah. And I remember I was knocking on your door because it's like I, I have to fight you now. Not like, only that, you had a hundred Corys on your back. I had a yeah. hundred Corys. The most powerful <laughs> moment of your fucking life. <laughs> Dude, I was still terrified because I knew that I was going to have to fight you. Dude, <laughs> and I, I was... didn't know. I didn't know you. But it's yeah, like. I hadn't really Trevor fought anybody. I to go find Corey, which I think Trevor was sucking Corey's dick. I'm pretty positive that was going on. Trevor oh. went out to go. Or not Corey. Cody. Sorry. Oh, okay. So. Cody calls or Trevor calls Cody. He's like, you need to get out here. And Trevor just ventures out of my house. And I stay fucking flat on the ground. Like 
<laughs> calling my mom on a landline, <laughs> which I can't blame you. There's a hundred can't cool blame you outside. I didn't a hundred know- high school like junior seniors. Yeah, and I'm in eighth grade, dog. This is <laughs> nearly a massacre. Like, yeah, this is what it the really is, is. dude. It's like, like that. It's like the Alamo. Yes, is that what it is? fucking sin. Probably I've been to December. You know, and everyone's like, "You heard the Alamo?" And I'm like, "Yeah," but I never did. And there was a lot of native death. And I just think, yeah, hundred percent. But wow. you would have just killed a tribe of three. <laughs> <laughs> but I remember I knocked on your door to fight you, and I saw people, you and Trevor, and probably Jeremiah running around. My like, three year old brother. At the time. You wouldn't answer the door. And then, yeah, like you said, I think Trevor came outside, and for whatever reason, him and Zach Grinrod, who was oh. one of our buddies at the time, <laughs> yeah, Whoa. went and to get. They just got in a fight, and Zach Grinrod just like his move was not to punch; it was to just like lunge in for like a fucking bully headlock, <laughs> and he act he like cracked uh Trevor in the nose on accident, which is funny. He just like. Boom, and then, like the fight was over. It was at real, that point real epic fight. Dog, nothing actually. Like I don't even think a single cop was called on that. No, and there should have been. And I don't. I think it's because my family thought I was exaggerating when I said there was a hundred fucking kids. I'm like, could you re- could you imagine if that happened to like Mason, Jake, just? Oh, yeah. kids showing up to kick dude Jason i would have acted i would have acted like james did the following yeah. week which oh, yeah. is was, another oh. story in itself so with that being said right now someone does that to your kids in a wave of a hundred high schoolers how many are you able to take before you get taken down welcome back everyone we uh justin had to go unfortunately but we did get a very special guest very special because it's hard to track this motherfucker down he has no i mean he's off the grid mr steve phillips in the flesh it's me thank you so much one of these give him one of these it's one it's me oh right uh so hey it's me steve what have you been up to? <laughs> Did you join a reggae band or something? <laughs> well, I've been out here in the sun in Costa Rica where they turn Bitcoin into the national currency. Oh, oh my That's God. That's amazing. Truth. It looks like you're doing well. Oh, yeah. I'm doing great. I, I'm doing great. I made a thousand bucks last month on, on Bitcoin down here in Costa Rica. <laughs> That's pretty good. Living That's pretty large. good. Living large, Steve. I love it. Are you I still say, uh, chasing drones? No, I I have a couple drones, but they're electronic now. Right, right. Yeah, I think. Were they, they not before? No, they fly. But yeah. they didn't before. No. Okay. I. You were there. To learn. <laughs> what have you been doing? You still key logging? Well, uh, let's just say, I I quit working for you obviously yeah but else, look at my background i mean i'm not living in costa rica baby um <laughs> no these days i basically am just uh well it hasn't gone so well um i got my third wife pregnant that, that sounds like it's okay yeah doesn't sound bad mind? it's not because i'm paying alimony for the other two and child support on this one because we're already going through the divorce you know oh, what, guys uh, i I, f- I feel bad that we're talking when we have steve phillips on because we have him for such a short amount of time so we could probably end the pod with a a truth listen right now i'll give you one truth right now anymore right we now need it. everything we need i ever it. did has led up right now to now okay okay it should <laughs> Truth is, right now, boys, crypto. There okay. was cryptids, and now it's crypto. Bitcoin, we got <laughs> Bitcoin. There's enough crypto out there for everybody. That's, that's good. Crypto. That's good to know. There's not a shortage. There will never be a shortage. As what long do I do with it? Involve pay your bills. 
Move to Costa Rica, pay your bills, buy a tortilla with Bitcoin. <laughs> it's a right rice there. tortilla? And that's the knowledge we needed this week. If you made it this far in the podcast, you're you're really loyal, and we super yeah. appreciate that. This one is a little more off the rails. <laughs> this one was all over the board. But I think We're we about dicks for a fucking hour. Yeah, I know. I don't think it's any. I don't think that it's anything outside of our fucking circum or circumference. There we go. Our I won't, circle. We go. I'm not gonna cut the shit out. I'm just saying these people are sports if they made it around this long. You, you might be true. able to clean up a little. <laughs> we love you all. Use Manscaped. Is that's one of our sponsors, right? <laughs> we do the same thing, I, dude. I, I literally do use. You know it. how we really, I, I really could do. say goodbye, though, just the easiest way. We'd like to thank you, Fox, for, for hooking us oh, up with this Fox. shot. Money. Thank money, you, Fox. Money. 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 money out of Holy this. Holy shit! We got that's a wrap. Rep-